Potatoes earned farmers about 20 billion shillings last year with the bulk of the cash pocketed by middlemen who exploited both farmers and consumers. This exploitation is what the government plans to stop through implementation of new weight and measures regulations starting from July this year that will, among others, see potato priced based on their weight and not tins and gunny bags as is the case currently. The 1st of July, we are going to gazette that uh, potatoes will be sold uh, using different weights and different measurements so that we eliminate uh, those uh, individuals who are benefiting uh, uh, from uh, you know, weights that are very excessive and uh, not benefiting our farmers. A similar attempt a couple of years ago was met by opposition from traders. We are saying that let businessmen come, but let them do fair business. Let them engage in proper you know, uh, 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 transactions. Uh, let, them, let us have a win-win position, not a situation where they are faithful farmers, faithful, innocent, Hard-working uh, farmers should actually lose, particularly when government is providing either a subsidy or even providing a premium price for their produce. Kenya is seeking to boost potato production from the current 10 tons per acre to 30 tons per acre by availing better seeds and improving market access to lure more farmers to embrace the crop. Potato can also be dried, you know, uh, can be chipped, you know, uh, and dried and exported uh, to different parts of the world. For, for French fries. Uh, we can actually call it, uh, you know, Kenya fries because we produce these potatoes in our counties. Lisiampe dismissed claims that the NCPB bought a 50 kilogram bag of maize at 3,200 shillings, clarifying that the price was for a 90 kilogram bag of maize delivered.